Stewart, Jamaica. So we have a Bahamas athlete and a Ukraine athlete on the inside, and then three Americans, three Jamaicans. Alison Felix bidding for a fourth successive title, up against Veronica Campbell-Brown, the double Olympic champion. Debbie Ferguson once again making a major final. She's been in six Olympic finals. This is her sixth world final. Triple Commonwealth champion back in 2002. Next to her is Christina Stoy, World University Games silver medalist for the 100 metres. Absolutely delighted to have made this final, where she's in great company. Outside her, the winner of the last three 200 metre titles at world level, the beautiful running style of Alison Felix, shown to its best. She also, of course, took the silver medal in the 400 metres here in Daegu. Twice the Olympic silver medalist, as well as those three world titles. And she has a record six world championship gold medals, including relays. Then another athlete bidding for a double. It's the American, Carmelita Jetta. Two bronze medals and then a gold in the 100 metres. Now for the first time in World Championships, she doubles at the 200. Second in the US Championships this year, and she looks in prime form. Another of the all-time greats, Veronica Campbell-Brown. She was the runner-up in the 100 metres to Jetta, double Olympic champion, and the silver medalist in the World Championships behind Felix on the last two occasions in Osaka and in Berlin. Then Shalonda Solomon, don't underrate her chances. Former world youth champion and the American champion this year when she beat Jetta to take that title in a world leading 22.15. Two Jamaicans complete the field. First of all, we have Sharon Simpson, Olympic Games finalist. She's got a best of 22 seconds exactly. And another 100 meter finalist on the outside, Karen Stewart, the Olympic bronze medalist. So a very fine lineup indeed in the women's 200 meters. And of course, we'll come to the men's 200 meters shortly. So USA against Jamaica here. Three from the USA, three from Jamaica. The Ferguson McKenzie Bahamas on the inside. Stoy of Ukraine in lane two. Then Alison Felix, USA, Carmelita Jetta, USA, Veronica Campbell-Brown of Jamaica, Shalonda Solomon, USA, Sharon Simpson, Jamaica, and Karen Stewart of Jamaica. Well, away they go, first time of asking. And who is it going to make an early move? Well, it's Veronica Campbell-Brown is the answer. She's in lane five. She's got ahead of Felix and Jetta on her inside. Veronica Campbell-Brown coming into the home straight, but Jetta is closing. Jetta is closing on Campbell-Brown and maybe going past. No, Campbell-Brown is holding on. Felix finishing fast as well. It's Veronica Campbell-Brown who takes the gold medal. Carmelita Jetta in second place. Alison Felix in third. So this time, Veronica Campbell-Brown adds a world title to the Olympic titles. Jamaica win a major sprint title once more. And Veronica Campbell-Brown, I think that was one of the best bends I've ever seen her run. 22.22, a headwind of one meter per second. And she's beaten the 100 meter champion convincingly. What was really impressive from that run is she was overtaken by Jetta and she came back at her again when usually you tie up. Jetta did all she could, I think, to come past her in the last the 50 meters. And then Campbell Brown attacked again. Felix was run out of it. She really wasn't anywhere near them coming off the bend and it was just too much to claw back down the straight. But she gets the bronze. Well, the Americans are smiling, but I bet they're hurting. Peter well, said in the introduction that VCB, Veronica Campbell-Brown, was one of the all-time greats, and nobody would argue with that. Well, that was a great, great run from her, really. She had to dig deep, and she came back there when everybody thought, I think even us in the stadium, that she was going to get the second. 
place, but she dug in and she came back at Jetta. That takes some doing. She certainly looked very, very strong coming down the home straight. Jamaica, well, almost expected to win by their supporters, but it doesn't come easy. The United States, well, I can tell you, I looked at Jetta when she crossed the line, and boy, was she trying to catch the great Veronica Campbell Brown. Felix, I don't think the athlete is as good this year as we have seen her in the past, so she will not add to the huge haul of World Championship gold medals that she's had in the past. But this woman is special. Well, Jetta gets the gold in the 100. Campbell Brown, VCB, gets the gold in the 200 metres. And Felix Silver at the four. So I think Felix's uh, potential, Peter, is in that longer distance maybe now at the 400 metres. Maybe if it's set it up nicely for the Olympics next year, won't it? All I can say is at the moment that now both Felix and Veronica Campbell-Brown have got eight World Championship medals. That's fantastic. Felix has six gold, a silver and a bronze. VCB, as we will now call her, had six silvers coming into here, but now she's got two golds as well. I can't wait to see the replay because, as Steve was saying, Jetta really pressured Veronica Campbell-Brand down the home straight, but then the great double Olympic champion responded. It was almost as though an extra shot of adrenaline went through her body. With about 50 metres to go, she drove for home. Well, America get the silver and the bronze, but uh, Jamaica again pulling on... Not the best race, 23.17. Talk to us about the performance. Um, I have to be grateful. I made the finals. Um, did not execute my race properly, but at the same time, I'm happy that I finished healthy. You said didn't, did not execute properly. What aspect of it weren't you satisfied with? Oh, boy. Uh, all on the race. It just wasn't good, but, you know, I just have to learn from this. All right, uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Here it is. Middle of the picture. She's up on the outside of Solomon of the United States straight away, coming into the straight. She's at least two or three metres clear of Jetta, but now what's Jetta work hard to come up? Here it is. This is where she draws level, and this is where the pressure is on. But then Campbell Brown just pours it on over the last 20 or 30 metres. And in the end, a clear margin of victory. Jetta did all she could to close the gap. Watch again, this is better. She's coming, she's coming closer, she's coming, but Victoria Campbell Brown says, no, you're not having this one, it's mine. And she pulls away. Closing fast on the other side there was uh, Felix, but she just left it too much in the straight. Karen, 22.70, but you ended up fifth. Talk us through the rest. Uh, this 200 meters is really a class act because all those women in that race is pretty accomplished. So for me to be a part of that is it's just an honor. No, it, it, it didn't go the way you wanted it to. What went wrong d during the run? It, it didn't go the way I wanted to, but when you're not 100% and you come out here and you compete, for me that's the most important thing because I could have stayed home, but I didn't. I came out here and I fight. It's only Jamaica's third gold medal in this 200 meters. Veronica joining Merle Inati. What's the feeling for Veronica? I mean, as I said before, Veronica is a class act and she's just someone for us to emulate. You know, she's taken up where Merle Inati has left, on, left off and it's for us now to just keep that going. What's next for you for the rest of the four by ones come up or do you rate her chances there? Uh, <laughs> I, I'm on the team with Shelly Ann and Veronica and myself, so we're going out there to win. And I don't think any of us in the team is looking to come anything less than that. We're going to give 100% and just hope everything goes okay. All right, thank you much and good luck. Thank you very much.